Guten Tag, I'm Squizilla, and in this series I'll be playing the new Direwolf 20 1.10 mod pack. I thought I'd get us some basic resources and build a little starter house. Check it out. Real simple. And my tinker stuff, some forges, storage. I also found a village. Oh, we got some. That village over there, went and checked it out. Pretty neat. Got some cool stuff. Got some material, some iron, some aluminum, waiting boost didn't do anything. A bunch of wands. Displacement wand, swapping wand, a hammer, and a building wand. But I can't use any of those right now because I don't have any arf. Alright, let me grab these worms. Alright, got some wood, got some crates. Uh, this will eventually be the mine, so I'm gonna end up building them. My uh, main base further up on the hill, but for now, let's uh, start playing some stuff. <coughs> Alright, so now I need to make my farm. So I'm get some seeds, rice, flax, potato, carrots. I want a sugar cane, I need a bucket. So, first thing I'm gonna make is a bucket. Because we'll need that in a bit. Let me see if I get anything else I need in here. Nope, nope, nope. Outside we go. Alright, the neat thing is we're going to use these worms. Alright, they're very, very useful. So if I place a worm here, it's going to till this three area here. Three by three area here. Right? And so I'll put this one here. Here. Ooh, look at that. See, it automatically tills it and waters it. And the way you get them, just get some land like that. See? There we, ooh, we got two. Alright. Put that there, and we'll just make our farm. We'll extend our format a little bit more. So that's those three. That's those three. I need one more row. All right. Pick a farm that I plant. That's great. All right. So let's figure out what we're gonna do first. All right. So what do we need? Food. Yeah, first off, let's rice and wheat. Let's start off with. Rice. A couple rows of rice. A couple rows of wheat. Potatoes. Carrots. Although, those are grow. Alright, now we need some flax. That's a. Oops. Almost cutting my carrots. That's about all the flax we'll need. We'll use that to get string. And then canola oil. Uh, we'll leave this rest of this open for now. Uh, we'll leave this one open for now. A couple spots, but we'll start canola over here. So we're gonna need that. So what we really need, though, is, well, we really need some water for the sugar cane. But I'll do that later off camera. In the meantime, I'll toss all this stuff back in, and we'll get moving on. All right. Uh, while we're at it, let's take a look at my tools. So, tinker wise, I made some simple tools. Oops, there we go. Flint bone mattock. So, bone tool rod, because it's got a nice modifier. Flint axe head, because of the durability. Bone shovel, again, because of the durability. <coughs> so, it's not bad. It's a pretty good weapon, slash axe, slash shovel. So, it's a good starter piece. Alright, next up is stone pickaxe. Again, the bone tool rod for the dur modifier for durability. <coughs> Stone big, I see it's easy repaired and wood biting because, well, options are kind of limited. <laughs> and then, of course, I got a bow because I killed some skellies for their bones. And I found some iron leggings in the village. Alright, so now that we got that done, let's see. The next thing we need to do is set up a smeltery. So I'm going to grab run some materials, then I'll be right back. And welcome back. Alright, so I got all the resources I need. Let's make some smeltery stuff. <clears throat> So first off, we're going to need is a smeltery controller, then a smeltery tank, a faucet, a drain, casting table, and then bricks. Where'd they go? There they are. Oops. Alright, so I'm just going to set up a very small one in here, and by 
by small I mean like <laughs> tiny <laughs> but it'll meet my purposes for now so that we ain't gotta go far to get stuff like I said this is gonna be my mine so there you go it's filled again it's teeny tiny alright but because it's so small we gotta do some stuff so put the drain there, faucet, casting table, now I need two, four, five more bricks. One, two, three, four, five. We'll put those in. And now we can have four. Let's see how much more we can do. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, okay. So not too bad. We can make this a little taller than I thought it could be. Oh, that's good. So let's see. One, two. Take, take, take this out. Oops. Hope I dug out the right bricks, huh? <laughs> All right, anyhow. That's not too bad, and yeah, I can make, and I can always make more uh, <clears throat> with cobble, but this will work for now. Now I gotta go find some lava. This ought to be fun. So let's see, we dump all the stuff I don't need, and then let's go get some lava. Let's see, let's go outside. My well, farm's going pretty good, so let's see, where do we have some open lava? Hmm. Well, I know there's a couple buckets in this ravine over here, so let's head that way. So I got two buckets of lava out of the ravine. Now to smelt up some stuff. Let's see. First thing we need is, let's see, brass. Let's see, how do I make brass again? I haven't done this in a while. Aluminum brass is aluminum and copper. And I don't have aluminum or copper. Well... This is, this is tricky. What can I do? Uh, well, uh, I know where some bauxite is, so fortunately I just had to smelt up some nuggets. Build me a iron old school iron pickaxe. <laughs> I'll get some bauxite real quick. And then we'll, then we'll be in gear. So let me swap this up, smelt this up, grab that aluminum, and I'll be right. All right now that we have some aluminum brass, let's make our first piece. We're going to make an ingot cast, and then we're going to make a stone pickaxe head. Let's make a cast for that. The other thing I did is I added another faucet and a casting table. Alright, sweet. Now let's make ourselves an iron pickaxe head. Takes two, so we'll toss that in and when it's done, we'll go on. And what are the things we can upgrade on our tools? <coughs> well, it's about time that we made an actual shovel. Yeah, so we'll make a shovel, an axe. Alright, so. The matic is useful for farming, but now that we have access to iron tools, it's much better off using that material. Let's see. I throw a couple more iron in there. Now for the rods. Options. I've still got I've got some bones. It's 1.1. .1. Iron 8.5. We'll just go with that for now. <clears throat> we'll, we'll, we'll replace, we'll upgrade this one. Alright. Now, actually, I was going to 
as I say them. All right. We'll continue to use a mattock as a weapon, but we're going to replace it. So let's see. Iron. So let's get our pickaxe head. Uh, see, it's got to cool off now. Change that back to aluminum brass. And we'll get our shovel. Shovel cast. Our axe cast. get our axe. Doo, doo, doo. So <clears throat> these are a nice set of starter tools to get us going so that, uh, you know, make life a little bit easier for us. All right. And that one's done. Put the ink cast back on. All right. Now I'm going to toss the rest of these casts. Uh, well, actually, I've got a chest just for them. these casts in there. Let's get uh, two bones out. And make ourselves... Oh, that's right. I forgot the bindings. Oh. Alright, what are our bindings? What do we have that's useful? Oh, we have iron, which is magnetic. And flint, crude. Pressured. Let's just go with wood, because really, it, it doesn't really matter. They're basic tools. It's not going to matter too much. Alright, so there's our iron hatchet. Our iron shovel. Oh yeah, that's going to make stuff a lot easier. Alright, now for our iron stone. First, let's repair it. And replace it. Oh, now you see our mine level is now diamond. Oh, yeah. There's a way to get that cobalt. We'll, we'll explore that next time around. So, now that I've got that done, I think this is a good wrapping up point. You'll see our farm is doing really well. Got lots of uh, potatoes, carrots, eggs. You can hear the chickens in the background. So, I'm going to start smelling up a bunch of this stuff. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Juice.